Hi everybody, thanks for joining me on my 2014 video tour. And by that I mean whenever I get a new 2014 on the lot, I take her out and I give you a nice video tour of the inside and out and I go over all the changes from last year to this year. So, there it is, 2014 Ford Escape. Obviously aesthetically looking at it, nothing's changed from the 2013s except for minor, uh, minor option changes, color changes. Um, and interior um, technology changes with packages. Um, I'll go over those with you, but we'll just, uh, I'll do a once over here. I'll show you what the, uh, what the Escape has for those that aren't familiar with the Escape, and we'll, we'll go through the rest. So right off the bat, I can tell it has 19 inch nickel rims. And uh, if you can see these here, that's a parking sensor, and that's a parking sensor, and they're all around the front, so uh, it has forward sensing. Um, I'll, I'll get into why that's on the side as well once we're inside the car, I'll explain a few options. Titanium version, if I get down here, we'll see there's a, it's not a reflection, that's a line of light. Those, that's a, basically a bead of LEDs around the, uh, the base of the headlamps, which look good. A neat little tip here, um, if you see the fog lights and this whole lens is clear, you can tell that it's not a base model because this is a, a clear tail lamp, or a headlamp rather. And if I just walk over here to my escape row, you'll see this guy here has orange, uh, orange lamp covers there, uh, that means it's the base. I don't know, just a little little piece of trivia for you here on escapes. Going to the rear, the rear itself, like I said, it's a titanium, so it does have every single option. It, this also has a trailer hitch included, as we can see right here. Um, now with the addition of the, uh, the trailer hitch, the uh, rear foot uh, hatch control, unfortunately, is not an available option. If you don't get the trailer hitch, then the neat option of kicking your foot under the bumper and having the uh, the hatch come open would be definitely available as a standard option on the Titanium. Um, so basically you just come up, you'd kick underneath, and your trailer, or your, uh, basically your rear hatch would open. So like I said, with the hitch, obviously that doesn't happen. So we also see that we have parking sensors, those beep as you get closer to objects you're backing up towards. And we have a rear view camera, I'll show you that works inside as well. All right, now going inside. I can tell it has a few options right away. You can see, um, let's see if I can get that. Okay, so in the mirror, if you can see in the mirror right above my finger, there's a little insignia. Looks like a car with two lines and another car diagonally in front of it. This is basically, this is your bliss system. Um, and what bliss is, it basically it's a, it's a blind spot recognition system. So if someone is in your blind spot, there's a little tiny circle, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little tiny circle in the corner of those two cars. That's going to glow yellow if there's a car in your blind spot, which is really cool. And then just, of course, going left to right, obviously we have your power windows, power mirrors, power door locks. You have a three position memory uh, for your seats. So it has a 10-way power adjustable, oh, can you see them here? Yep, 10-way power adjustable seats. And it has a three position memory, which is cool. Control your fog lights, uh, your dimness of your dash. Uh, these are your headlight and fog light controls. Here is your um, your cruise control settings here. Okay, um, the arrows and OK button here controls your uh, your display up front here. So if I was to go through everything, you can see that. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Let's see. For the sake of conserving gas, I'm going to turn the air conditioning off. Just let it do its thing. Um, we have our media controls on the right. So this will basically, what this does, uh, you can see it has track buttons and volume. Uh, you can change your media source here. This is your sync system. So sync is a voice controlled system. Control all of your entertainment, MP3 players, everything that way. All your climate, uh, temperatures, fans. Um, you can even uh, set your, uh, your navigation. So with the navigation chip in, which this is equipped with, you can book all your points of destinations, trips and everything to your navigation through your voice. And also we have your cell phone controls for hands-free. Um, this particular guy has Active Park Assist. So Active Park Assist automatically parallel parks your car for you. Now you still have to use your pedal, so you still have to control your brake and how fast the car goes and does it, but it, you don't have to touch the steering wheel at all. It'll park the car for you in parallel parking situations, which is very cool. And of course, the eight inch My Ford Touch display screen. So this will give you all your information you need to know about your car. So your entertainment, your navigation, your climate, and your phone. 
And for those that still like to push buttons, you still have all your push buttons here and here. Okay. Dual zone climate, so you can have different temperature on the left as you do on the right. <clears throat> you have your select shift, so it's a six-speed automatic transmission. And once you put it in S mode here, you can go through the gears up and down just like a manual transmission would, which is pretty handy. You have your 12-volt power source and your seat heaters, which go all the way to 5. If you want to prank somebody when you get in the car right away, just roll that up and just wait for them to feel like they're uh, they're warming up. They might say something funny. This does have a Vista roof or panoramic roof. If I hit the button here, that opens up. Uh, let's see. Let's keep let's keep moving that back. So the slide goes back. So that opens up as well. Rear seats, also leather, so this is what they call a French stitch, so it's just a nice touch of class that they're putting on all their uh, leather seats as well. In the car, 110 volt source, so this is like your your home style plug, if I can get the camera angle there, right? Which is very, very cool, very handy. So, changes. Let's talk about changes. 2014 has a huge list of changes, but it's all just packaging and colors. Um, so, basically what they've done is, uh, I'm going right from here, they, uh, they got rid of the SEL, so it's just S for the base, SE, middle of the line, titanium is the top of the line, um, they just took the convolution of the SEL out, um, so because they took the SEL out, that had a lot of package options that were exclusive to the SEL, um, they've changed things around, so obviously here, I won't name them all, but these are all the package option changes. And this is just getting in line, basically because the SEL was kind of like a higher end of the middle of the line. Um, it had a lot of exclusive options. Um, so what they're doing now is they're shifting all these exclusive options from the SEL to the SE, which what all that basically means to the customer is the SE is now much better equipped for about the exact same price as last year's model. So um, you're getting more for less, basically. Um, changes in performance and handling the two liter ecoboost motor and front wheel drive is now standard on the titanium before it was mandatory on the titanium you took all wheel drive so that's kind of a neat option that would save you a few bucks um, if i remember correctly somewhere around 17 1800 bucks between uh, front wheel drive and all wheel drive um, leather seating is now standard on titanium that's kind of cool uh, rear view camera made standard on se and titanium wow actually that's really cool the uh, on the se the rear view camera is standard so um, obviously, when I put it in reverse here, you'll see the rear view come up. And of course, it has the sensors too, so the sensors beep as you get closer to objects. Uh, so that's actually a really nice option. Um, standard 18-inch rims now. Okay. Uh, one color paint. Let's see here. Sunset is the new color added. Kodiak Brown was the color removed. And uh, basically, these are just the different packages, like the 200, the 201A, 202 packages that they're going through here. Those have all changed too. Like I said, they're just adding the SEL options into the standard packages for the SE. Um, so I guess kind of like seeing that the rearview camera is now standard on the SE is uh, that's actually a really cool option. So you can see how you get a little bit more for the same amount of money. But that's about it. That's the 2014 Escape. Not a lot of changes. More value for the dollar for sure. Uh, that's a double B because it's a push button start and when you have push button start you actually have it You don't really have a key so much as you have uh, just a key fob um, So when this is outside of the car, it won't start when it's inside the car It will start but it'll stay started if you take the key out But it just beeped twice to let me know it's not going to do anything until the keys back inside More trivia for you So there it is. That's our 2014 escape stay tuned for more 2014s that we'll show you on our website if you have any questions at all, by all means, feel free to, uh, to email sales at edwardsford.com. We're always happy to help as quickly as possible. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great day.